Good morning. I am catching you early before the sun starts hitting. Big heat wave going around the country right now. And I have here the Goddess Power Oracle deck. You might be familiar if you've seen my previous videos, Colette Baron Reed. And I will pull from that and also give the book that comes along with the decks um, um, read out on the card along with my own kind of extra thoughts to whatever it is that we pull. But I wanted to start out with a lesson that I'm going through. And a lesson is not necessarily something you know or don't know. Because I know this lesson already. Logically, I know this lesson. But I'm going through it and I'm experiencing it. And to know something and to actually embrace and feel something are two different things. So although I know that going through challenges in life, uh, big challenges, big goals that you have are going to come with its ups and downs. And it's not just a, you know, a linear process of going just straight downward, 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 downward on your goal. It's like this, oh, where's my finger? There it is. It's like this, up and down, 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 up and down. And that's normal and that's expected and that is what is supposed to happen. We aren't supposed to just have it easy and keep going downward. Even if we're doing the hard work, um, it would still be too easy. We have to keep checking in with ourselves and our belief in ourselves and checking our, um, checking our mission and our purpose and our why behind what we're doing on an ongoing basis. And that's challenging because why do you want something? Well, you know, you have your reasons why you want something, but then why do you want it even more than that? And sometimes that might change along the process. So, so it's an always evolving, always be bringing self-awareness. And I've had some really down days this last week. Um, have a questioning me. I'm going through some big challenges myself. Um, a lot of you know I've started my own nurse coaching business. I started working full time to making it happen back in December of 2020 and then officially opened it January 12th of 2021, the first new moon of the new year. And, um, and it's not been easy, but it's been rewarding for sure. Um, and it's had its challenges and it's had its, it's, you know, it's, challenges with me and my belief in myself and can I make this happen can I do this and so what happened this morning is I woke up and I got a paying client which is exciting good news and uh, gave me that little boost that I needed after being down for a long time and then I got on the scale because that's another one of my challenges is doing whole food plant-based and getting into a healthier body got on the scale and boom, lost some more weight. I'm like, yes, okay, this is great. And then I started thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? I need to stop relying on that. I need to stop relying. I mean, yes, I need to watch the numbers. I need, you know, I mean, they do kind of gauge your success, but I need to stop relying on the specifics behind it. Between, oh no, I gained two pounds or, oh no, I've had three weeks of no paying clients or, you know, whatever it might be because that is part of the process and we have to do that and i'm learning to accept that and to embrace that and that this is going to be a roller coaster and it will continue to be a roller coaster and to keep my eyes on the vision and my purpose and my why and so i don't know that i have the lesson fully learned but i have the commitment to say that i'm going to keep at it and i'm going to do it and so then I had the motivation to get up and do my other challenge that I'm doing that some of you guys might be following and that's the sun salutation challenge and got up and did my 12 for this week. So I did it. Here I am. I'm making my way. All right. On to the cards. Let's see what the great goddesses have to say for us after all of that be interesting how what I just talked about might possibly who knows tie in. It's pretty common. There it goes. Okay. Oh, how do you say this name? Uh, I don't know if that first letter is a an A or an N. Nike. It looks like N I K E. Nike, like Nike. Ambition. I'm not familiar with this goddess, so I'm gonna read more about her. But 
uh, maybe you might be familiar with it. And if it's an A, you know, you get those fancy letters in there. Ike, Ike, I don't know. So let me open the book and see if I might be able to see it in a different writing style that makes more sense to me. 36, 37, 38. Okay. Nike. It's N-I-K-E. Um, Nike or Nike? I want to say Nike because I don't want to give the corporate brand nothing against Nike or anything, but they've got their own image. And so, you know what? I wonder if Nike shoes actually got their got their uh, inspiration from this goddess. That would be interesting to find out. Okay, I'm going to read it to you. The Greek goddess Nike asks you to be present to the beauty and richness discovered in your life so far. You have come this distance, so what are you here, or what are your wins? Celebrating them is key right now to enable you to co-create even more. You live in a world where you may have felt that you were not allowed to celebrate your victories, lest you be cut down for being self-centered. Perhaps you were raised in a family that discouraged you from shining in an authentic way. Being successful at the game of life requires you to refuse the message that you are too much or not enough. Your biggest win is to be yourself, accepting ex yourself exactly as you are, releasing the idea that you are flawed in any way and expressing yourself with authenticity. This is the true power of the victory goddess Nike, expressed through you. The goddess Nike has another message to share. If you've been struggling to move to the next level of your life, whoo, right? Uh, working hard and putting the time and effort in, you will soon find you are finally winning. Your determination and commitment to your intentions are manifesting in your life with beautiful results. When you are winning, the world wins too. Just remember to share your bounty. Is that not true? When others win, I win. When I win, you win. I share my bounty with you. And we all affect each other. The, the butterfly effect. It makes sense. Uh, I'm going to continue reading the alignment message. Are you so determined to win right now that you are running like a racehorse with blinders on her eyes? Oh, sorry, there's a bug. Beware of unbridled ambition and the strident need to win. There it is. The, the, the strident need to win. As I mentioned my, you know, my, my, my lines. With the scale, I don't want to be up. I want to be down, right? I want to go on this continuous downward. With my business, of course, I want it to go upwards, you know. But then I still have these ups and downs. So um, that speaks to that in my, in my thought here. All right. Have become influenced by not only what you... Um, beware of unbridled ambition and the strident need to win. You may have become influenced only by your wants and forget to ask yourself if what you want is for the highest good. Perhaps the job you want so badly won't be good for you or that unavailable partner you're so determined to be with will never love you back. Nike gives you the alignment task now of getting real with yourself. Comparing yourself with others may have triggered jealousy and envy. It's time to step out of this race and recognize that you are where you need to be. Your life is a marathon, not a sprint to the, your next goal. Your only competition is with yourself. So choose now how you want to feel about your life and who you want to become. Then take baby steps towards your highest intentions. Cheer on others who are successful, learn from them and help those who are struggling. You can learn from them too. Your place in the world is assured, so remember that however long it takes you to live your life to its fullest is perfect. It can take you a longer time than others. It can take you a less time than others. So this brings me, because this happened, right? Um, earlier, so I do pull cards and I post them on Facebook, not video-wise. Um, which you're welcome to go your friend request me or follow me there too if you'd like um, this is the card to whom am I comparing myself right now and on the back it says what you are able to see in another is only visible because it is within you ready to be brought out shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth 
All that you need and want is within you. You are enough. You have everything in you. You have everything that you need to be what you want to be, to be who you are in this very moment. Today, stop comparing and start creating. So creating is the action of moving towards our goals. How can you be more creative and less comparing between you and others? How can you bring Goddess Nike? This has got to be the inspiration for Nike because the wings. Ambition. Where is your ambition? Find that, seek that, know that the path is not straight. Accept that. And it's easier said than done because I'm learning that lesson myself. And just know that it is normal. And I'm here with you. I'm on my own journeys as well. And I'm here to support you. I'm here to share my bounty with you because I believe in you and your success as well. So there we go. Have a beautiful day, everyone.